What's up, YouTube? You know it's your girl, Malaika, a.k.a. Mali, a.k.a. Malibu, whatever you want to call me. You don't know that it's me. Today, I want to talk to you about my experience with working with Open English through Latin Hire. In this video, I will be discussing the requirements to apply, the salary, what the overall experience was like working with this company, and much more. If this is something that interests you, please stay tuned. All right, so I worked with Latin Hire, Open English, for almost a year. Um, and they are a company that's based in Latin America. So no, this is not a US company. It's not a European company. It's, well, most of its main offices are in Latin America. I do think that they now have an office in the USA, but I was employed with the Latin American office, all right? So I was basically teaching English to Hispanic students ages 8 through to 14. Um, my class sizes were between, you know, just having a one-on-one -on -one class and uh, class sizes as small as just about four students, three students. It was never more than five students at a time. The lessons were prepared by the company and all I needed to do was log in at all times, click on the lesson, download it and follow it step by step. There was nothing extra that I needed to add to these lessons. They were very straightforward. So if the lesson said, um, please match the pictures with the words, you would say to the students, all right, Mary, could you read the instructions, please? And Mary would read. Please match the pictures with the words. And then you would select different students to do different parts of the activity. You try to include everybody as best as you can. So when I say so easy to follow, I mean so easy to follow. At the end of each of my classes, um, there would be a short evaluation for each student just to check off that, okay, Mary was able to achieve these objectives today or maybe she was not able to achieve some of these objectives same thing for the other students so that was it it was as easy as a b c one two three and i loved working here so how do you apply to teach with open english through latin hire let me say and this video is all over my thoughts are all over and maybe i should have written these down first but latin hire hires teachers not only for, you know, English, but I think for math and other subject areas, but they're widely known for hiring English teachers, teachers of English to teach Hispanic students. All right. What are the requirements to apply? You just need a TEFL certificate, teaching English as a foreign language certificate. I was able to obtain mine within like four days. I applied through ITT. I don't remember if there's a 30, but anyway, I'll put it on the screen so you all can see it. Um, and there are other companies that you can get your TEFL certificate from, and typically they're not hard to obtain. I had obtained my TEFL certificate in, I think, 2019, and uh, I never got to use it until I started working with Latin Hire. One of the things that I loved about this company is the fact that they did not discriminate so most companies that i was you know trying to get through with before latin hire they kept reaching out to say oh we got your application and while you do have experience and the qualifications we're looking for people who have more of an american accent latin hire did not discriminate because i am jamaican and obviously i do not have an american accent yes my tongue and guanted myself sometimes but you know I was free to use my Jamaican accent to teach these students, all right? Um, so I applied, I think I saw the ad on LinkedIn and I applied right now, you can go on your LinkedIn profile. If you have one, you can type in Latin hire and you'll see they are, they're, they're hiring year round, all right? So, and I'll also leave a link down below in the description box for you all to click and you know get your applications going. So, 
back to what I was saying before. Right. So Latin Hire, they hire people for different companies. One of the main companies being Open English. So I was working for Open English, meaning the materials that I was using to teach, the pedagogy of it was Open English, but I was being paid by Latin Hire. Got it? Good. All right. <laughs> so talking about pay, this is what my salary was like, or this is what the salary is like working with Latin Hire. So stay with me <laughs> because, okay. All right. So you have three levels. There is level one, level two, level three. I forgot the salary scale for level one, but I'm going to put it here somewhere. Um, and I forgot it because it takes like a month before you get to level two. So I was level two for most of my experience there. After one month, I leveled up to level two. And with level two, this was the salary scale. From Mondays to Fridays, 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. to about 4 p.m., you would earn, I think, $9 US dollars per hour. From 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., Monday to Friday, you would earn, I think, about $10. And I may be off with the figures here by about a dollar. Um, and from 8 p.m. to 12 a.m., so that's 12 in the night, you'd earn a dollar more. On the weekends, I think it was set $12 per hour. Once again, I'm going to I'm going to try to find my old contract and put it here. So here it is you guys, as you can see. Um right. So you can see level 1, level 2, level 3, also titled as um tutor 1, tutor 2, tutor 3. On the weekends where you see for a level 1 tutor you get $11 per hour. Um level 2 $12 per hour and Level three, thirteen dollars per hour. On weeknights, that's Mondays to Fridays, eight p.m. to twelve a.m. and that's Eastern time. A level one tutor would get nine dollars. Level two, ten dollars. Level three, eleven dollars. So as you can see, like the earlier the time, the less money. The later the time, the more money. And of course, on weekends, more money. Um, as y'all can see, week evenings, Monday to Fridays, eight dollars if you're level one. Um, nine dollars if you're level two, ten dollars if you're level three. Weekdays starts from seven dollar for level one, and as I say, like it's easy to move up from level one. Anyway, keep watching the video, guys. Thank you. Then uh, when you got to level three, it's difficult to get to level three, and I was—I think this was my breaking point as to why I resigned. Um, apart from the fact that I just wasn't ready to have that part-time job at the time, I was disappointed when I realized that. Okay, I finally met the hours to get to level three. And when I messaged HR to say, hey, I think I have the hours for level three right now. You know, how comes I haven't received an email saying, yeah, you leveled up to level three. And they informed me that, oh, because the year started. So like January had started and apparently it started over. So because I didn't get to those hours before January hit, um, I basically had to start over that whole process of getting to level three and that was discouraging for me um so i i had quit i think in february or march yeah i regret that by the way but yes <laughs> um so yes all over the place so that's the salary um i spoke about the fact that they do provide the lessons for you and uh, the students are so receptive. So you have beginning students, you have intermediate students. I loved teaching the intermediate students because they really ask the meaningful questions. The beginning students, whenever you ask them, oh, are you understanding? Do you have a question? It would always be, yes, teacher. They say teacher. Yes, teacher. That was the cutest thing ever. Um, even when they did not understand, you know, but it was such an amazing experience. I can't lie. I think one of the things that kind of made it annoying for me was each time you got a class it was never the same students every time you log in it's a new set of kids and so you constantly had to be reintroducing yourself um you have to you have to have a perky spirit and everything and you're like hi how are you what's your name <laughs> my name is malaika where are you from i'm from jamaica do you know jamaica <laughs> Guys, even my husband, he would be listening to me in the background and he would get so annoyed. He's like, 
every single time you have to be saying the same thing so we started we stopped calling it latin hire and we just started calling it hi how are you because that's how i would start every single class with all my students all the time and um and this would be like in two hours that would be four classes because each class is for 25 minutes and you get five minutes break in between each class so two hours is one um shift we call them shifts so two hours is one shift so for each shift i would have four classes and four classes meaning i'll be saying this sometimes if i had two shifts which would mean four hours that means eight classes eight times i would be like hi how are you sometimes for the eight hours straight you have the same lesson sometimes you get a different lesson i like to get in different lessons because it was so annoying especially if it's not a lesson that i like personally it was so annoying teaching the same lesson like eight times back to back but once again a pretty simple job easy job to do you don't have to do any lesson plans don't have to mark any pay, any work or anything like that everything is on spot they provide training before for you before you start which reminds me that guys i've self-diagnosed myself with add because trust and believe that i cannot stay on the same point for very long but i believe i was talking about the application process which right i applied through linkedin um after I applied, it took about six months to hear from these people. I even forgot that I applied. And that seems to be a theme in my life. Applying for jobs, forgetting that I applied, and then later on hearing from them. So yes, I applied, I think, in December of 2020. And I heard from them June 2021. Forgot that I applied. They responded to me. And like when they responded, it was like time for training and everything. I was on vacation. I was on my vacation doing... um. I was on my vacation doing my my training at the same time and yeah straight to work what i loved about working with latin hire is the fact that they do give bonuses so regardless of whatever you're getting paid so maybe they'll say all right you're a new teacher for your first month if you hit a certain amount of hours we're gonna give you 500 dollars extra on your monthly pay well not for every month for that month's pay or Further down, like, they'll just keep giving you incentives, like, all right, hit a certain amount of hours, or for this weekend only, um, teach X amount of hours, and you will get $2 extra on each hour's, you know, pay. They pay every month, I think, was it the 15th? I don't remember, but let's say you start working the 1st of June. If you start working the 1st of June... I think your first pay would be sometime in July or maybe even August. There was something to it that I don't quite remember. But it is a monthly pay. What I loved about their payment method, by the way, was the fact that they paid directly in your bank account. So even if you're living in Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, wherever it is that you're living, they paid directly into your bank account. And if you know anything about these online schools, most times they want to pay you through paypal or something else but never directly into your account and they did that so big up on yourself latin hire so i did mention that i needed or that you all will need a tefl certificate you do not need a degree to apply while that is a plus or a bonus you do not need a degree to apply while having teaching experience is a bonus it's not required so no no experience required um, as a matter of fact, thanks to Latin Hire, I now can say that I have experience teaching English as a second language, um, because I also needed that experience for other jobs that I, you know, wanted to apply for. So thank you, Latin Hire. Big up on yourself. So yeah, that's it for Latin Hire. I feel like I have left out some information, but once again, my ADD is kicking in right now. I've had a day. So as I'm recording this video, I'm starting to remember something that I should have said. And it's that you do need to have some knowledge of Spanish to teach these students. Reason being, you are teaching them as Hispanic students, English as a second language. And most times when you're teaching English as a second language, you don't necessarily need to know that person's native language. But for this company, they really require that you do. As a matter of fact, as a part of the the interview process like after they've contacted you they do require that you do a video of yourself speaking spanish or a recording of yourself speaking spanish just to you know understand the level of spanish that you have 
but if you are somebody who did well at spanish like at the csec level i think this would be good for you um if you have any questions let me know in the comment section i believe i will be able to answer them and uh, you know apply 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 i hope you all get through and to be honest if i had stayed with if the issue with Latin hiring and why I really didn't stay with them, apart from, you know, not getting to level three in the time frame that I wanted to, timing is everything. So at the time when I had applied to Latin hire, I was living in Jamaica and on a monthly basis, if I was work, if, if I worked with Latin hire on a full-time basis, I would have been able to make a little over $2,000 every single month which if you all know in jamaica that's very decent money on a monthly basis two thousand us dollars right so that would be like three hundred thousand right now i think about three three hundred thousand jamaican dollars that would be cool um but i was working part-time because yes i had my full-time job it was something that i just wanted to dip my toes into at first to see how it works but i got through in june as i told you all before and by June, I had already known that I was going to the United States. Um, and I left for the United States in July. So by the time I actually got my first pay from Latin Hire, I was already in the United States. And this, it wouldn't have been enough living in the United States. So on a monthly basis, working part-time with Latin Hire, I was making like between $500 to $700, which is still good part-time money but still not enough to like supply yourself or to maintain yourself living in the united states so even if i had you know worked with them full time two thousand dollars just wouldn't have been enough where i live because my rent alone is over a thousand dollars right um but had i been in jamaica i most definitely would have quit my job you all saw my um story on the job that i had in spanish town that i didn't really like had I gotten that job, the Latin hire job before all of this, when I even applied to Latin hire, I didn't know that I was coming to the US or anything. But if I had that job with Latin hire, I most definitely would have quit my daytime job, my government job to do online learning, teaching and learning full time, get my $2,000 at home, um, flow internet, they're going good as well. Yeah, man. I would have definitely stayed with Latin hire. I wouldn't even had you know needed to move to the United States. But you know, everything happens for a reason and God knows why. So maybe God wanted me to accept this job first. But would I go back to Latin hire? Most definitely. As I said, at the time when I quit, I just couldn't deal with that part-time job at that time. Right now, if Latin hire wants to take me back, hey, I'm ready. <laughs> um although i do want something that pays a little bit more now as i said before because i'm already living in the us the, the expenses are a little bit more but latin hire in terms of work environment oh there's something else that i forgot to mention about latin hire just stick with me you guys i know i'm all over the place but just 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 stick with me because i knew i was forgetting something so with latin hire because they're trying to improve you it's not just about working and earning they they want to see you improve as a teacher and naturally if you improve as a teacher it means that their students um will be getting a better service and that means that they'll also generate more students and more students means more more money for the company more money for the company means that they can hire more teachers so on a monthly basis they would select one of your videos because your videos are recorded they give you the zoom link it's attached to their thing it's it's very high tech and um yes it's not you create your own zoom link they give you everything that you need every single thing but the rec the lessons are recorded and also yeah they take one of your lessons and they they evaluate your lessons they give you a feedback uh, on things that you could improve i i think my very first evaluation i got to 88 percent and then after that it was like 90 then it climbed to 95 and i've never gotten less than a 95 percent on my evaluation since getting my first 95 on my evaluation and why it hasn't reached why it didn't reach 100 is because the one thing that they kept telling me to improve on i just decided that i'm not going to do that um because <laughs> i'm a rebel <laughs> anyway um working with latin hire in terms of how you dress like something that like what i have on right now could work 
they prefer if you wear a polo shirt but uh, either way they just prefer if you wear something that is a plain top also a background like mine right now could not work it needs to be a plain wall and it needs to be a well lit area so even before they fully take you on you have to send them a video of you um or a picture of your area and what it will look like and they'll tell you if you if it's approved or not if you need to find a different area they're very specific when it comes on to these things all right also uh, i feel like i'm missing something guys I'm, I'm missing a lot of things you know um but like next time i'll make sure to be more organized for you guys all right but like work with me just work with me work, work, work. work with me um so I spoke about the background, spoke about the clothes. With your sessions, there's something I like. It was so flexible. So <laughs> here's one thing that I did that I would not recommend anybody else doing, but I didn't understand at the time. So they asked you to provide a list of times that you'd be available. So I'm like, okay. I'm not like I wasn't sure if I put all these times if I would actually get a class within all these times but apparently you do so I put like a whole heap of hours every single day as to when I'm available but in real life I would not be able to do so many hours every single day as soon as I realized that I was actually getting classes for all the times that I put in I had to make a quick change on that and you have a certain time frame so you can't just be you can't be changing this week and next week and it doesn't work like that where the flexibility comes in, however, is if you have a shift to complete, let's say something come up and, uh, you know, you realize that you won't be able to do your shift because, of course, there's a pen penalty for just not showing up. Duh, the people that are around them business. So if, if there's something that's coming up, you would, there was like this platform with other teachers where you could post your shift and say, hey, can somebody please cover this shift for me? And of course, if somebody covers the shift, they're getting the money for that shift, not you, duh. Anyway, um, <laughs> so yeah, you could post a shift. Sometimes that was tricky, especially like everybody, if it's a if it's a weekend shift that you're posting, people would take those like really easily because weekend means more money. During the week was kind of tricky. And so you had to post hours in advance, sometimes days in advance to ask somebody, hey, Please take the shift for me and you keep posting it until somebody takes the shift for you. Sometimes what I did, especially if it's a shift where I really could not cover, like if I'm not feeling well and I just wanted somebody to take the shift for me and then nobody takes the shift, then I would just try to push through and do the shift nonetheless. But if it's something where I really just, I wouldn't be home anyway, then, you know, I just face the penalty. I just send it to the, to the, um, to the moderators that, hey, um, you know, I, I wasn't able to do the shift, yada, 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 and it is what it is they do they're very gracious when you come on to the penalties like you have a certain number of times to mess up before you get um a warning email i got two warning emails and that's because in the last part i was as i said this is why i even resigned because i was like instead of keep getting warning emails i didn't want them to fire me you understand i didn't want them to fire me so i decided to resign because like i said timing is everything and at that moment that job was not for me although i loved it don't get me wrong but yeah so where was i going with this again while i tried to figure out where i was going with that um i just remembered as well that i did say before that working on a full-time basis i could make up to let's say two thousand dollars for the month but i wasn't working full-time maybe you're wondering um why just two thousand dollars you could possibly earn more if you you know double up on some shifts and whatnot but really and truly you couldn't make more than a certain amount per month because you were also not allowed to do more than four shifts for per day which would mean no more than eight hours of teaching per day so yeah that's something else that i just remembered add today is not a good day <laughs> and i know my mother keeps saying stop called on add i've not been tested but I've diagnosed myself with ADD because based on different things that I've just observed about myself throughout the years, I I definitely have ADD. And maybe one day I need to like professionally get that evaluated. But yeah, once again, if you have any questions, feel free to put them down below. I think I've covered most of it now. I think I've definitely covered most of it. I loved working with Latin Hire and I suggest you apply. Once again, 
you know, this is Malaika, aka Mali, aka Malibu, whatever you want to call me, it's me. If you've reached this part of the video, please hashtag Latin Hire down below in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one. Also, remember that we do, I have my very first live, you guys. I have my very first live coming up this Saturday where I'll be speaking with some other teachers, people that I'm familiar with. I call them my friends. Um, and we'll be doing like a panel discussion ish kind of thing. It'll be more relaxed. It won't be very formal. Um, but we'll be discussing the topic is the grass truly greener on the other side. Jamaican teachers speak out. This is a four part series. So you don't want to miss it. This Saturday, it'll be 4 p.m. EST. That's the same time as Jamaica right now. Tune in, tune in, tune in. Thank you guys for supporting. Thank you guys for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, go ahead and click the post notification bell so that you will not miss an upload from me. And if you haven't liked this video yet, even though I was all over the place, but remember, just remember the ADD. If you haven't liked this video as yet, just go ahead and click the like button now, please. Thank you so much, everybody. We are almost at 1,000 subscribers. Thank you, guys. Big up on yourself and later. Bye.